Good evening. Tonight we're taking a look at the Sigma 30mm f2.8 art lens, which is an E-mount lens for APS-C sensor cameras. But I'm using it on the Sony a7. Yes, it probably is vignetting quite a bit. I remove the little plastic baffle from the rear of these lenses. It only seems to work on primes. If you do this on a zoom, it seems to have no real effect. But on a prime like this Sigma 30mm, my Sigma 60mm, and even to some extent the Sony 16mm, it seems to help open things up a bit. So, as I said, this is at f8 that I'm shooting this. Just so you can see how it looks. In a moment I'm going to stop and shoot wide open at f2.8 which is where I normally shoot these lenses when I do these type of videos. So you can get some idea of how bad it is at f8 and how not so bad it is at f2.8. So give me a minute and I'll be right back. And we're back. Now we're shooting at f2.8 on this Sigma 30mm f2.8 art lens. That was kind of redundant. Anyway, now you'll see that the vignette isn't quite nearly as bad. And it's three tiny screws in the back to remove that little plastic baffle. Now I'm sure that that baffle is there for a reason. It's probably to prevent interior reflections possibly if you're shooting out in bright sunlight but here in the studio it doesn't make much difference only you can determine whether this would be useful to you but I like to get my glass as inexpensively as possible that's why I like to shoot so much vintage glass I'm a big proponent of using old Minolta lenses which is Sony A mount using via the Sony LAE A4. I own three, I believe, Sony E mount primes. I have the 16mm f2.8, the Sigma 30mm f2.8, and I have the Sigma 60mm f2.8, which is one of my favorite lenses, which is kind of crazy. It's They're all dead silent, and they do a pretty good job wide open with a full frame body. This is on the Sony A7 once again. So again, you have to make up your own mind whether this is useful to you. Uh, I wouldn't really recommend doing this for taking stills, but for video, you can kind of get away with it. But again, that's your decision. And honestly, you can always buy old vintage manual focus lenses that are fast manual focus primes that are fast f1.4 1.8 very very inexpensively and then manually focus them and you won't have to worry about the vignette at all again it's your decision so please consider slapping that donation button on the main wall of our channel. It helps us a lot and we will be very very appreciative. It would make us very happy to receive a donation here and there. Hopefully you enjoy this enough to do so and if you can't afford to by all means don't worry about it. <laughs> and uh, also please give us a thumbs up if you like this video. And of course, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. That helps as well. And of course, share this video with friends, family, neighbors, anyone you think may benefit from seeing this. So, hopefully you've made your own determination as to whether this would be useful to you or not. I personally shoot this in APS-C mode and in full frame mode for video. And I'm probably going to pick up an A6300 at some point. So this lens will work magnificently on there, I'm sure. 
So, have a great night. Bye for now. Onagiwahi!